So the next step in the spanning tree protocol process after we find the root uh, bridge and the root port roles is to find the designated ports and they are allowed in a forwarding mode. So right off the bat on the root bridge by default all ports are designated. The reason why is because we try and find one path to this root bridge, one road. So if it's in a block state, it doesn't make any sense because we're supposed to connect to that root bridge. And so by default, all ports on the root bridge, the root switch here, are designated. And now let's look at the link between temple and S2, this link. So right away we see we have a root port here and the other side has to be designated because what the root port is saying is here's my one path to the root bridge and if this other side is in a blocking state it defeats the whole purpose it doesn't make any sense so this side becomes the designated port on the other side of the link here right off the bat you can see so now let's look at the link between temple and S3. So which side gets the uh, designated role? So the first step in the spanning tree protocol process for designated ports is very similar to the root port role. So first we look at the lowest cost. Who has the lowest cost to the root bridge? For temple, it's a cost of 19 plus 19, which makes it 38. And switch 3 has a cost of 19 to the root bridge. So since S3 has the lowest cost, it wins the role of designated port for this link here. So this link right here, this side becomes a designated port. So we'll go ahead and make that designated port. Now let's look at the link between S2 and S3 here. So we start at the very beginning, we find the lowest cost to the root bridge. So who has the lowest cost? So if we look at these two switches that the, these link, this link is connected to, switch 2 has a cost of 19, and switch 3 has a cost of 19 to Trixie. So we tie on cost. So the next step is to find the lowest bridge ID. So the bridge ID is made up of the bridge priority, which is 32768 by default, and the MAC address combined. That's the bridge ID. So since the bridge priority is the same in all these, we have to look at the MAC address. Who has the lowest MAC address? So let's look at the MAC addresses. 0, 0, 0, 0. Here we have a 6, and here we have a 9. So 6 is less than 9, so this side wins the role for that link. So this link here, this side, becomes the designated port. So we'll go ahead and write that down. This becomes the designated port. And after we find all the designated ports, it's pretty easy to finish this up. So anything that's not a root port or a designated port goes into a blocking state right away. It's blocked. So we can just say that this link, this side, is in a blocking state, an alternate port. And this side is in a blocking state, alternate port. And there we go. We found the root bridge so far, the root ports, designated ports, and we finished up with the alternate block ports. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.